Our solar system is a place of wonder, a cosmic ballet of planets, moons and stars. But among these celestial objects, one stands out, a giant that commands attention. This is Jupiter, a planet so colossal it dwarfs all others. Imagine a world so large that 1,300 Earths could fit inside it. Jupiter's mass is greater than all the other planets in our solar system combined. Its immense mass gives Jupiter a gravitational pull so strong that it shapes the solar system around it. But Jupiter's story is not just about size and mass. It's about the mysteries that lie beneath its swirling clouds, the secrets held within its tumultuous atmosphere. Jupiter's influence extends far beyond its own orbit. Its immense gravity acts as a cosmic shield, protecting Earth from the dangers that lurk in the depths of space. Asteroids and comets, remnants of the early solar system, hurtle through the darkness, posing a constant threat to life on our planet. But Jupiter, with its powerful gravitational pull, acts like a cosmic vacuum cleaner, drawing in these celestial wanderers or deflecting them away from Earth. Without Jupiter, our planet would be a much more dangerous place. And so, we owe a debt of gratitude to this celestial giant, a planet both beautiful and terrifying, a world of storms and secrets, but ultimately a guardian, protecting us from the unknown. The solar system is often depicted as a place of serene beauty, with planets gliding along their orbits like celestial swans. But the reality is far more dynamic, a chaotic ballet of gravitational forces, where objects are constantly tugged and pulled by unseen hands. And in this cosmic dance, Jupiter plays a leading role. Its immense gravity is not merely a shield, it's a sculptor shaping the very fabric of the solar system. The asteroid belt, that ring of rocky debris between Mars and Jupiter, owes its existence to the giant planet's influence. Jupiter's gravity prevents these asteroids from coalescing into a planet, keeping them trapped in their chaotic dance. The relationship between Jupiter and Earth is a complex one, a delicate balance of protection and peril. While Jupiter's gravity shields us from many cosmic threats, it can also redirect objects towards us. Like a celestial billiards player, Jupiter can send asteroids and comets hurtling towards the inner solar system, where they could potentially collide with Earth. It's a reminder that even as Jupiter acts as our protector, it is also a force of nature, capable of both creation and destruction. It's a cosmic game of chance where the stakes are incredibly high. The evidence of Jupiter's protective role is etched upon the face of the Moon. Its cratered surface, a testament to billions of years of impacts, stands in stark contrast to Earth's relatively smooth visage. Without Jupiter, our planet would be similarly pockmarked, bearing the scars of countless cosmic collisions. But while Jupiter has undoubtedly shielded Earth from many catastrophic impacts, it's important to remember that it's not a perfect shield. Small objects, like the meteor that exploded over Chelyabinsk, Russia in 2013, can still slip through. While we can be grateful for Jupiter's protection, we must also remain vigilant, aware that the cosmic dance continues and that even the most powerful guardian cannot eliminate all risks. Jupiter's immense gravity, while a shield for Earth, can also be a weapon of unimaginable power. This force, capable of sculpting the solar system, can also unleash destruction on a scale that defies comprehension. In the annals of astronomy, few events have showcased this destructive potential as dramatically as the impact of comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 in 1994. Imagine a string of pearls strung out across the cosmos each pearl a fragment of a comet, drawn inexorably towards their doom. This was Shoemaker-Levy 9, a comet torn asunder by Jupiter's gravity, its shattered remnants on a collision course with the giant planet. As astronomers around the world watched with bated breath, the stage was set for a celestial spectacle unlike any other.
The first fragment of Shoemaker Levy 9 plunged into Jupiter's atmosphere on July 16, 1994. The impact, witnessed by telescopes around the world, released an explosion of energy equivalent to millions of atomic bombs. A plume of superheated gas, larger than Earth, erupted from Jupiter's cloud tops, a fiery testament to the comet's demise. Over the next six days, the remaining fragments of Shoemaker Levy 9 met their fiery end, each impact leaving its own mark on Jupiter's swirling atmosphere. Dark scars, some larger than Earth itself, marred the giant planet's face, visible even to amateur astronomers. The impacts were not merely a visual spectacle. They provided scientists with an unprecedented opportunity to study Jupiter's atmosphere. The impact of Shoemaker-Levy 9 served as a stark reminder of the destructive power that lurks within our solar system. It highlighted the very real threat posed by asteroids and comets, objects that could potentially wreak havoc on Earth. The event galvanized efforts to track and study these near-Earth objects to better understand the risks they pose and to develop strategies for mitigating those risks. In the aftermath of Shoemaker-Levy 9, the world gained a newfound appreciation for Jupiter's role as both protector and potential harbinger of destruction. The echoes of Shoemaker-Levy 9 continue to reverberate today, a reminder that the cosmos is a dynamic and often violent place. Jupiter reigns supreme, not as a solitary monarch, but as the head of a celestial court surrounded by a retinue of moons. These are not mere celestial pebbles, but worlds in their own right, each with its own story to tell, its own secrets to unveil. Among this Jovian entourage, four stand out Io, Europa, Ganymede and Callisto, the Galilean moons discovered by Galileo Galilei in the 17th century. These four moons are not merely satellites, they are a testament to the power of gravity, locked in an intricate dance with their massive host, their orbits shaped by Jupiter's relentless pull. Io, closest to Jupiter, is a world consumed by volcanic fury, its surface a tapestry of fire and brimstone. Europa, cloaked in ice, whispers of a hidden ocean, a potential cradle for life. Io is a world in constant turmoil, a volcanic hellscape, where plumes of sulphur and molten rock paint the surface in hues of yellow, red and orange. Imagine a world where the very ground beneath your feet could erupt at any moment, where rivers of lava flow like molten veins across the landscape. This is Io, the most volcanically active body in our solar system. The source of Io's infernal fury lies in its relationship with Jupiter. The giant planet's gravity exerts a powerful tidal force on Io, stretching and squeezing its interior, generating heat through friction. This heat melts Io's rocky mantle, creating vast magma chambers that fuel its spectacular eruptions. From the fiery inferno of Io, we journey to Europa, a world of ice and mystery. Europa's surface, a canvas of white and pale blue, appears deceptively serene, but beneath this icy shell, scientists believe, lies an ocean of liquid water, perhaps twice the volume of all the oceans on Earth combined. Europa's surface is crisscrossed by a network of cracks and ridges, suggesting that the ice is constantly shifting and refreezing, perhaps driven by tidal forces from Jupiter. Moreover, measurements of Europa's magnetic field suggest the presence of a subsurface layer of electrically conductive material consistent with a global saltwater ocean. Could this ocean, warmed by tidal forces and perhaps hydrothermal vents, harbour life? These are the questions that drive us to explore, to push the boundaries of our knowledge and to seek out the secrets that the universe holds. In the realm of celestial wonders, few sights captivate the imagination like Jupiter's great red spot. 
It is a storm of unparalleled fury, a swirling vortex of crimson clouds that has raged for centuries, a testament to the raw power that nature can unleash. Imagine a storm so vast that it could swallow Earth whole, its winds howling at speeds that would make a hurricane seem like a gentle breeze. The Great Red Spot is not merely a fleeting atmospheric disturbance, it is a storm of almost mythical proportions, a swirling vortex of crimson clouds that has captivated astronomers for centuries. Over the centuries, the Great Red Spot has shrunk and expanded, its colour shifting from deep red to pale salmon pink. What fuels this storm's enduring rage? What forces drive its relentless spin? These are questions that continue to intrigue and baffle scientists, even as they marvel at its raw, untamed beauty. The Great Red Spot is a high-pressure storm, an anticyclone that rotates counterclockwise, its winds whipping around its centre at speeds of up to 400 miles per hour. It is a maelstrom of unimaginable power, its clouds towering five miles above the surrounding atmosphere. To put its size into perspective, imagine a storm system larger than our entire planet, its swirling vortex dwarfing even the most powerful hurricanes on Earth. The storm's distinctive reddish hue is thought to be caused by the presence of complex organic molecules, perhaps hydrocarbons or phosphorus, that are churned up from Jupiter's lower atmosphere. Within the Great Red Spot, lightning bolts crackle with a fury that makes Earth's most powerful thunderstorms seem tame. Despite centuries of observation and study, the Great Red Spot remains an enigma. Scientists are still unsure why the storm has persisted for so long or why it rotates in the opposite direction to most other storms on Jupiter. Some theories suggest that the storm is fueled by heat from Jupiter's interior, while others propose that it is driven by the planet's powerful jet streams. Another mystery is why the Great Red Spot has been shrinking in recent decades. Observations show that the storm is now about half the size it was a century ago. The Great Red Spot is a reminder that even in the 21st century, there are still mysteries in our solar system that science cannot fully explain. When we think of planetary rings, Saturn's majestic icy rings come to mind. But Saturn is not alone in possessing these celestial adornments. Jupiter too has rings, though they are faint and elusive. These rings are a subtle halo, a testament to unseen forces. Composed of dust, they barely reflect sunlight. Space probes reveal their ethereal beauty, a ghostly presence, a whisper of cosmic dust. Jupiter's ring system is a dynamic collection of dust particles, ranging from microscopic grains to small boulders. These particles originate from Jupiter's innermost moons, Metis, Adrastia, Amalthea and Thebe. Micrometeoroids blast dust and debris off their surfaces. This material becomes trapped by Jupiter's gravity, forming a tenuous ring. The rings are constantly replenished, balancing forces that feed and disperse them. Jupiter's rings are a dynamic system shaped by gravity, electromagnetic forces and micrometeoroids. Studying these rings offers insights into planetary system dynamics. Their faintness suggests they are relatively young, only a few hundred million years old. Unlike Saturn's ancient rings, Jupiter's are transient and will dissipate over time. Jupiter, the king of planets, is a world of extremes. It boasts the largest storm in our solar system, the Great Red Spot. Yet Jupiter's most dazzling spectacle is its auroras. These celestial fireworks paint the polar skies with ethereal light, a testament to the invisible forces shaping our universe. Imagine a curtain of light, shimmering in hues of green, blue and red. These are Jupiter's auroras, a breathtaking display of celestial light. They provide scientists with a window into Jupiter's magnetosphere. The sheer scale of Jupiter's auroras is staggering. They shimmer, pulsate, and change shape in response to the solar wind. What drives these spectacular displays of celestial light? It's the interplay between Jupiter's magnetic field and charged particles. Jupiter's magnetic field is a colossal bubble extending into space. 
It deflects solar wind and traps charged particles, funneling them to the poles. These particles collide with Jupiter's upper atmosphere. Collisions excite gases, causing them to glow like neon signs. The aurora colors depend on the gases being excited. Jupiter's auroras reveal the dynamic relationship between the planet and space. As we've journeyed through the swirling clouds and volcanic plumes of Jupiter, explored its storm-ravaged atmosphere and the icy plains of its moons, one question lingers. Are we alone? The answer may lie beneath Europa's icy shell, a moon with a potential ocean, a world within a world, a potential haven for life. Imagine an ocean of liquid water hidden beneath a shell of ice. This is Europa, where conditions for life may have persisted for billions of years, shielded from the harsh realities of the surface. Scientists believe Europa's ocean, warmed by tidal forces, could contain the building blocks of life. The exploration of Jupiter and its moons is a journey of discovery, a testament to human curiosity, pushing the boundaries of knowledge. What we've learned is a glimpse into this gas giant, a world of storms and secrets, a microcosm of the universe. Jupiter, with its great red spot and its moons, each with its own story, reminds us of a universe of wonders. A universe that surprises and amazes, challenging our notions and expanding horizons. As we explore, Jupiter captivates our imaginations, beckoning us to unravel its mysteries. The journey to Jupiter is about the pursuit of knowledge, the thrill of discovery. The questions we ask, the answers we seek, reveal a wondrous and strange universe.